Thank you very much, sir, for give, giving me this opportunity. Four, four minutes, Hari Babuji, please. I don't want to go into the details of various uh, developmental welfare measures taken by the government, sir, because already all the issues were uh, discussed. The address of the President to the joint session of the Parliament is the true reflection of the performance of the government for the last 32 months, sir. I can take four directions in the speech. One is the welfare measures, the other is the developmental activity, the third one, the reforms already being taken and are to be proposed, and also the national security issues, sir. As far as uh, welfare and the developmental activities are concerned, welfare and development are the two eyes of the government. Therefore, the government gives a lot of importance for welfare and the developmental programs. As far as the reforms undertaken, I would like to discuss the demonetization issue, sir. This demonetization issue is being supported by every common man in the country. I don't know how our friends have got the feedback. They are dreaming that they are going to come to power because of the demonetization issue. They can dream for another two years, but the fact is otherwise. I can uh, quote the mood of the nation survey by the recent India Today, which they do normally. They predicted that if the elections are to be held today, NDA is going to win 360 seats in the Lok Sabha. That is the survey we are seeing in the India Today. Uh, you be happy for another two years. Let us see after two years. Sir, as far as the demonetization is no, concerned, no cross talking. Ji, no as cross far as the demonetization issue is concerned, sir, the basic requirement for this is some of our friends were telling that uh, we have money in the bank, we were not being allowed to withdraw. Sir, they can have crores of rupees in their accounts. They are allowed to spend whatever money they want to spend, but the spending should be either by credit card, either by debit card or charge card, or NEFT, or RTGS, there are 100 methods you can spend. But you want to spend only through the cash. That is not being allowed. Because generation of cash is leading to corruption, is leading to aiding terrorism. No, no, please, please, no. Therefore, in any developed country, the availability of currency, physical currency, is to be reduced. Now the process of the development of India is also to follow the developed economies. If we want to develop our economy, the physical cash should be reduced. That is the action taken by the Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. This uh, suggestion that the simultaneous elections, I think uh, some of our friends have come to the conclusion that they are not possible. But I am trying to say let us think about the possibility. What are the difficulties? How we can remove those difficulties? What are the suggestions that come from the discussions by different political parties and election commission? Yeah, no problem. But even if otherwise also, if all the state assemblies are also to be brought in the same simultaneous election, what are the difficulties? Suppose if Article 356 is being implement, implemented, if the life of the assembly is to be reduced, what is the alternative that we can have? That can be discussed and think about the simultaneous polls, sir. Sir, as far as uh, our Andhra Pradesh state is concerned, NDA government is committed to the development of Andhra Pradesh. It fully committed to implement Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act 2014 in its full spirit. We have taken a decision to establish many educational institutions in Andhra Pradesh. For the last 58 years, during the Congress regime, our Andhra Pradesh, newly formed Andhra Pradesh, did not have not even a single education institution of national importance. But today we have taken it. NDA government has sanctioned a lot of educational institutions, and Polovaram project is being declared as national project, okay. and 100% funding is being given by Thank the you. government of India. Sir, lastly, we have an unresolved issue that is a sensitive and emotional issue for Andhra Pradesh. Even it is being mentioned in the Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act that is the formation of new railway zone 
for Andhra Pradesh with Visakhapatnam as headquarters. I request the government to consider the issue and take the decision at the earliest. Thank, Thank you. you.